Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to put together this hidden compartment book box that I have at the Silhouette online store and at lauriewhitlock.com in SVG format. So you can see that I've cut everything out here in front of me. Um, I've cut out the basic box and all of those components out of a about a 100 pound or 80 pound craft colored cardstock so you can see all of those. Um, that includes the outer portion of the book cover. And then I've gone ahead and cut out the pieces in the file that are colored white to be the outside edges of the book and I've gone ahead and glued those to the back of that craft. That gives you a nice sturdy piece. That's why I've reinforced that with two layers. And this is also the covering to that little hidden compartment inside the box. So I've covered it with a patterned paper as well. So let's go ahead and, and put together the basic box and I'll move all the other pieces aside. This is a uh, the binding piece for the outside of the book cover and I've gone ahead and folded that and just inked along all those edges. So I'll set these pieces aside for now and we'll go ahead and put the basic box together. So it's pretty easy. It's just uh, four little glue tabs here on the side and then you'll notice the top of this box has a little um, glue tab that's going to go all the way around and we're going to attach this little hidden panel piece to that. So let's go ahead and get this portion put together. We'll put this on afterwards. Um, it's the little book closure flap. Okay, so we'll just put glue on these four tabs. And today I'm using this 3-in-1 glue by Beacon. Um, the reason I chose to use this is I was um, gluing layers of cardstock together and I like how this glue um, glues those together without buckling. I don't have to worry about getting too much glue because I can always rub off the excess. And then if you'll push these down they should uh, come together at 90 degree angles there on each side. And then just put glue on this little covering panel for the top of that. And we'll just secure that in place. And just hold that until it's nice and dry. You might need to put your finger inside there and kind of pinch. Make sure that's sealed really well. You want your, your main box to be formed just perfectly so that it's nice and square. So I'm going to glue these two pieces to the, small, the short ends, just like this. And they will, the curved part here will hang off the edge of the box, and that's just fine. In fact, I think I'll put my glue on the box so I know I'm getting it right where I need it. And put that piece just right there. And I did go ahead and put a little bit of inking on this white side. Of course, you could make this any color, it'd be really pretty out of a gold paper. So it looks like a really pretty vintage. Um, this one's going to go along this long edge here. And that one is not reinforced with two layers. It doesn't need to be. It's being attached to a nice full panel on the side of the box. The reason I doubled those side layers is because of that curved end that hangs off the edge right here. I didn't want that to be weak. Okay, so then we just need to put on this last side here. Make sure that those curves are coming off the same edge on both sides. Okay, so now we're ready to attach the little book closure piece. So there's a glue tab here across the back and you'll just go ahead and you'll attach it just so it looks like this so that your book will open. In fact, you might want to just bend that both directions so that it's nice and flexible. So I'll go ahead and put some glue on that tab. Make sure it's nice and square and it fits on there just right. Okay, now that we're to that point, we're ready to attach our book cover and our book binding. So the book cover is going to attach just like this to our book. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and put our binding on the edge of that book. So let me show you how I 
folded this. This binding has several score marks through it and I went ahead and folded on all those and then I took it on the edge of my table and I know you won't be able to see this but I just kind of rubbed it on the edge of my table back and forth a little bit to get it to kind of curve just the way I want it. And then the binding piece that goes on the outside of this um, it does not have all the score marks. It just has two score marks, one on either side. And you'll need to do that same technique of training the paper to fold. And we will go ahead and glue this on to our book binding. So, or to our book cover. We'll glue the binding to the cover. So let's just, and I'm going to keep the glue away from that little quarter inch piece that's on the edge. That way I can glue that down at the end. Okay, so you'll want to match up those square marks as best as you can. You can kind of do that by folding your book cover with your binding attached. Just make sure that those are lined up the way you want them. So it should look something like this. Okay, so now um, we can go ahead and fold these little tabs over. Make sure it's centered good. Go ahead and fold these little tabs over and glue them down. This just makes it look like that binding is wrapping to the inside of the book. It's a nice finishing touch. got my little clamps out, those would be handy right now. Okay, so just hold that down until it's nice and dry. Ah, getting glue all over me. Okay. So now our book cover is ready to go on our book and the main thing to do is um, center this. Make sure that it's all centered nicely. So just make sure that's still gluing down nicely and you curve it. Okay, so you can pretty much see that this back fold goes right along the back edge of the book and same with the front. So just line those up. I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on the front flap of the book here. Make sure I've got plenty of glue all the way to the edges. And then I'm just going to take one of these pieces and line that seam up on the front of my book and center it in place should be about a fourth of an inch overhang on all three sides. So if that helps you line it up. Sorry if you can't see this super well, but I think you get the idea. Got to kind of work fast with that glue. Okay, and then on the back, we're going to do the exact same thing. And then you don't need to glue anything in the center here. It's just going to be free, but it gives you that nice rounded edge look, which I love. Like a real vintage, awesome book. I don't want this project coming apart and that's why I'm using glue instead of tape runner. I just want to make sure this is really well glued together. Okay, so there's our little book. Looking really good and then when you open it up you've got, kind of got to get those uh, score marks trained to open and close, but you've got this really cool compartment inside. It'd be great for giving a gift in or storing something in and sliding your little book onto a shelf. You can embellish this from here 
Oops, looks like I need just a little more glue right there. In fact, I think in the file, I'm gonna, I actually included some little corners that you can decorate the book with as well. So I hope you enjoy making this really fun hidden compartment book box, and I hope you have a great day. Oh, one other thing I was gonna mention, I forgot to mention this. You could slide a piece of ribbon between the layers on the cover so that you could tie your book closed. So I think that would be a really fun touch as well. So think about doing that as you make these boxes. Have a great day. Bye-bye.